Pet Pals TV with Gabriel Filippelli here, and you are a, a scientist of some degree, correct? That's correct, an environmental scientist. Environmental scientist. And what we're going to talk about now is the environmental and how it affects our pets. Uh, also affects wildlife, too, and I think most people who care about their pets care about the wildlife as well. Balloons, what goes up must come down. Big problem. Tell me what you've discovered. Well, we've been kind of facing this problem for quite some time right. as, as you see the impacts of all of the plastics we put out in the environment on wildlife, for example. Uh, and, you know, ranging from pictures of, of uh, birds with their stomachs filled with plastic, they're dying of starvation because they're eating plastic instead of food, oh, no. to even um, uh, animals uh, that are brought in to, to vets, for example, oh, who really? are sort of internally strangled by balloons. Oh, because they're, e see, what goes up must come down, and I don't think we realize that. It doesn't just dissolve up there, they, they fall to earth and then the animals eat it, and it's, it's, it's terrible, so it's a tradition maybe we need to break. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you that um, balloons end up killing, they're 30 times more lethal than, than normal plastic really? inside of organisms. Because uh, a, think a little piece of plastic to block your stomach, for example, an animal, a, a dog's stomach. I mean, it has to be going in, in, in exactly the right way. Pla balloons, because they're soft and pliable, they just kind of stretch and block the entire opening like a you know, some kind of sur horrible surgical device. Wow. And so even though there's only about something like 2% of plastics out there are balloons, they kill 32 times more <gasps> wildlife than does plastic. Okay, ooh. Uh, what about they say there's these biodegradable balloons? Is that a f fact or fiction? Um, Fact and fiction. Fact and fiction. Okay. Uh, the, the fact is that they, um, they biodegrade in a sense. They break from big pieces of plastic to very small, small. pieces of plastic. Oh. So small, small bits are better because it's not going you know, to harm a, a dog or something. But then they get into the food web. And we've seen plastics inside organisms. So they, 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 they get there. And it takes about a year for these supposed biodegradable balloons mm -hmm. to break into pieces. Didn't that's too that. long, right? That's, that's a long time. And, and the worst, can I tell you the worst? Mylar balloons. You know those, those metal balloons that are filled with um, helium that kids have uh, <gasps> at, at big events? Oh, uh, yeah, gotten, yeah, yeah. So instead of the, the other balloons are latex. So, you know, the kind that you blow up yourself. Right, right. The mylar balloons are just kind of a thick size, and you blow them up with helium, and um, that mylar lives forever. <gasps> it does not break down at all. At all. <sighs> Okay, someone wants to, how do they get a hold of you if they want some more information? Um, I welcome that. I'm, I'm on Twitter, at Gabe Filippelli. Okay. Uh, but I'm also uh, amenable to um, email requests or anything like that. So G-F-I-L-I-P-P-E at I-U dot E-D-U. Okay. Thank you uh, for your education. I, I knew it was bad. I didn't know it was that bad. So now we know. And we'll, we'll try to be better. Some traditions, maybe we can look at in the past. Thank, Thank you. Oh, you had to let go of this. <laughs> Thank you, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we'll be back with more on Pet Pals TV.